Welcome to Be Your Own Fan TV, a web series designed to showcase all aspects of sports business and to provide fans with personal snapshots of the industry's heavy hitters. We have to throw around with a wiffle ball. I'll get a real ball. Real ball, real gloves. Man, you got something on the ball, man. I guess when I was about 14, something like that, I had a, a pro scout. It's a cool story. Uh, Larry Diamato from the Cincinnati Reds. And I, I just got through playing a summer game. And I'm taking my shoes off, my cleats, and putting my shoes on. And he pops his head into the dugout and goes, Harold Reynolds? And I go, yeah. And he, said, and he hands me his card and says, hey, I think you got a chance to be a pro ball player someday, kid. And I was like, wow. And I carried that card with me all the time. And to this day, I'm almost 50 now. That was when I was 14, OK? He sends me a Christmas card every Christmas. Well, this is the wall um, that started a couple years ago. Obviously, we're only about a year and a half, two years old, um, where all the different ball players that come in. And we missed a lot early. And then we went, oh, man, we didn't get their signature. So we created a wall. This is all the Hall of Famers on this side. Reggie Jackson, Bob Gibson. Most of them have come in and sat down with uh, Bob Costas in the Studio 42 at Costas. And so we got a few guys, Ozzy Smith. So this is the wall. This is the, you know kind of the cool thing. But this really, behind us, is where it all happens. We may run back here in the middle of a show and go, did you see that play in the Reds game? Bring it back, the third inning. When I get back out there, can you cue it up? Yeah. And the uniqueness of our show is the ability to go live look-ins. So it's crazy, because you, you got games going on, and you got somebody watching it going, oh, the bases are loaded over here. Uh-oh, we got, uh, uh, here comes Albert Pujols. And so we're sitting out there acting like we're, we're real cool and calm, but there's a lot of craziness under here. So you guys are New York based, everybody. Um, those, uh, the camera crew is from Massachusetts. Oh, really? What up? Sorry. I'm from Brooklyn. Getting to know you. <laughs> Actually, I'm from Brooklyn. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll stop at this wall here and I'll show you all our guys. And we'll go into the Studio 3. So this is our analyst board of the guys that are actually working here. Al Leiter, there's Mitch. Jim Cott, I don't know how they found that picture. That's me. There he is. There I am. Yeah. yeah. Squaring up. Squaring up. Look at you, break it down. Actually, there he is. It's actually a pretty good looking stance right there. It is, it's, it's pretty stellar. Yeah. The intensity of the eyes, you know, you're yeah. ready for Pitch it. Pitch is on the way. Up. When you hung it up, did you think you were gonna do this? You know, I was always involved with a lot of foundation stuff when I was um, in Seattle. So I figured when I was done playing, probably be involved doing stuff like that. The opportunity to do TV was kind of weird. I'd gone to um, Super Bowl in Phoenix and uh, at the time the Diamondbacks were just starting to be formed and uh, Roland Eman, <clears throat> who was my general manager in Baltimore, said hey why don't you come down and, and uh, talk with the Diamondbacks about maybe uh, working for us. So they asked me to be involved in the community relations department. All right. And then Jerry Colangelo, yeah. who was the owner at the time, said, hey, we're not working for two years. Why don't you go over to Fox and audition for the new baseball? So that's how I got yeah. there. And from that audition, ESPN called. And then the next thing you know, I was at ESPN. So this is Studio 3. And uh, it's pretty cool, huh? It's amazing, actually. Um, is that the kind of feeling you still get when you walk in through here? Yeah. The kind it's, of feeling it's, I'm having right now? Yeah. Where you're just like... Wow, huh? Wow. It is incredible. And this all came out of Tony Petiti's head. You know, it kind of just went, this is what I want to have. I remember the first time I came through here, it was some ripped up construction site. And he's going, here's what it's going to look like. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. He goes, we're going to have a desk here. It's going to spin around. Oh, yeah, great. This uh, we call the spider right here. During the night, the desk, as you can see, is pointed this direction. Yeah. So we'll have all the games that are going on. Oh. And it is as sharp HD as you can imagine. 
It's like, invite all your friends over. It's time to, to watch the game. It's amazing. Yeah. Do you guys have your designated seat? Because normally I see yeah. you here, right? On this I'm in right the middle, right usually. The middle. One of the qualities that, you know, somebody, if some fan wants to be an, a baseball analyst that you think that they need to have in order to be on this platform. I, I think you got to be able to, to react on your feet a lot. you got to be extroverted, yeah. I mean, to do this. You know that. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you came in here taking over this morning. <laughs> hey! We all know who the boss is. The analyst position has evolved. It used to be just the, the former baseball player, and he told you, well, here's what he's doing there. When, back when I played, this is what they did. Yeah. You know, and, and that's kind of changed now. For sure. Because you have your uh, Ken Rosenthal or your Tom Verducci's who, who have all the stats, the knowledge, their own personal uh, experiences. If you love the game of baseball, there's, there's doors and opportunities for you. So psychologically, is it different for you to like go and step into a batter's box versus you stepping in front of a camera? It's the closest thing to competing every day. Right. Because you have to get that adrenaline flowing. You have to be uh, on step. When you talk to most guys about what they miss, obviously the first one is, oh, I miss the camaraderie with all the players and hanging out in the clubhouse. And then the next one is the competition. Yeah. You, can't, you can't find that rush yeah. of being able to compete. And TV is close. It's not facing Randy Johnson throwing 95. I'm not going to get knocked down. But you do have to be on point, and it's good stuff. Who do I think I am right now? <laughs> Like, I feel so tall. This is really great. Yeah, they, they always tell me, that I prop this thing way up here like this. Oh, thing. Like, Take it down, Harold, get down. down. Oh, okay. Like, hey, Harold, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for doing, taking the time out to do this. It's uh, been great. It's really I great. appreciate it. I know our fans really wanted to, you know, get a background shot of you. And, you know, be your own fan is all about encouraging fans to come to our ballpark, whether you're a fan of baseball or not. And just be that fan when you get there and be whoever you want to be and let loose. So why don't we end it by you telling me one of your favorite uh, childhood fan moments. My oldest brother, Don, actually played in the major leagues with the Padres. So I'm 14 years old and I get to go to San Diego. And up on, um, in right field, Dave Winfield had a thing called Winfield Pavilion for underprivileged kids and he buys tickets and that's his whole section. And I go, I'm doing that when I get to the big leagues. For me, it went kind of full circle. i become real good friends with Dave Winfield and he was a big inspiration on me with starting the Children's Foundation, getting involved, to the point where I'm playing double A ball years later in Seattle, and we were in the Eastern League, and we came to New York on an off day, and it was like, the Yankees are in town. And so we're like, oh man, we'd love to go to the game. I'm like, oh, I know Dave Winfield. And they're like, yeah, whatever. So I called Dave. He gets 35 tickets for our whole team. Coaches, players, everybody. And we go watch the Yankees. How cool is that? Fan so moment, Dave's right? a big time hero. That's a fan moment. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, you can suggest future guests and check for serious updates by following Be Your Own Fan TV on Twitter.